Welcome to Indian Healthcare BPO channel. Indian Healthcare BPO providing training for medical coding, medical billing, clinical research and pharmacovigilance. For further detail contact the given number here. In this video I am going to talk about the posterior pituitary gland. Posterior pituitary hormone synthesis. The posterior pituitary hormone synthesized by the cell bodies in the hypothalamus. The bodies of the cell that secrete the posterior pituitary hormones are not located in the posterior gland, but they are large neurons called magnocellular neurons located in the supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei of thalamus. The hormones are then transported into the axoplasm of the neurons, nerve fiber, passing from the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary hormones. Then the posterior pituitary glands and its relationship to the hypothalamus. The posterior pituitary gland also called as neurohyphosis and which is composed of mainly glial cells called pituocytes. The pituocytes does not secrete hormone. They act simply as a supporting structure for large number of terminal nerve fiber and the terminal nerve ending from the nerve tract that originates in the supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus. Then the tract passes to the neurohyphosis through the pituitary stack. The nerve ending are bulbous knob that contain many secretory granules. The, in, this ending lies on the surface of the capillary where they secrete two posterior pituitary hormones. One is antidiuretic which is also called as vasopressin formed primarily in the supraoptic nuclei and then oxytocin is formed in the paraventricular nuclei. Then the antidiuretic hormones. Physiological function of antidiuretic hormones which increases the water reabsorption from the collecting tubule and distal tubule of nephrons in the kidney. For example, injection of extremely minute quantity of ADH antidiuretic hormone as small as 2 mg can cause decreased excretion of water by the kidney. Without ADH, the luminal membrane of the tubular epithelial cells of the collecting duct are almost impermeable of water. Regulation of antidiuretic hormone. Osmolarity means the concentration of electrolytes in the body fluid with the ratio of water. Like we can see uh, about the increase, uh, increased extracellular fluid osmolarity stimulate ADH. When a concentrated electrolyte solution is ingested into the artery that supplies the hypothalamus, what happens is the ADH neuron in the supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei immediately transmits signal to the posterior pituitary to release large quantity of ADH into the circulating blood and cause water reabsorption. Conversely, injection of dilute solution into the artery causes cessation of impulses and therefore almost total cessation of ADH secretion occurs. Low blood volume and low BP stimulates the ADH hormones like high ADH concentration have effect on constricting the arterioles throughout the body and increases the pressure. For this reason ADH has the another name called vasopressin and also, when the blood volume is low, the ADH cause increase water re reabsorption and mainly the blood pressure, maintain the blood pressure correctly. In this diagram, we can see like uh, the hypothalamus stimulates the posterior pituitary to produce vasopressin and vasopressin act acts on the blood vessels to constrict. When there is a constriction, there is an increased systemic vascular resistance so that the blood pressure will be increased. Like that, vasopressin acts on the uh, kidney tubules and uh, it causes the fluid reabsorption so that the blood volume increases. Okay, in this slide, we will talk about the oxytocin hormone. The hormone oxytocin stimulate contraction of pregnant uterus, especially toward the end of the gestation. Amount of oxytocin in plasma increases during the labor. Oxytocin stimulate milk ejection from the breast. The suckling stimulus on the nipple of the breast cause signal to transmitted through the sensory nerve to oxytocin neurons in the paraventricular nuclei of the hypothalamus which cause 
release of oxytocin from the posterior pituitary gland. The oxytocin is carried by blood to the breast where it acts, where it causes contraction of the breast cells. In less than a minute after the beginning of suckling, milk begins to flow. The, this mechanism is called milk letdown or milk ejection. Disorder of posterior pituitary hormone secretion, antidiuretic hormones like central diabetic insipidus and another type is nephrogenic diabetic insipidus. In case of central diabetic insipidus, there is an inability to produce or release ADH from the posterior pituitary. Can be caused due to head injury or infection, etc. Distal tubular segment in the kidney cannot reabsorb water without ADH. It results in large volume of dilute urine. In case of nephrogenic diabetes, there is a normal or high ADH secretion, but the kidney cannot reabsorb. The other type of disease is syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormones. In this case, there is inappropriate release of ADH. So, there will be an increased amount of ADH which cause increased reabsorption of water in kidney. So, what happens is uh, our, our sodium content will be increased in urine. That's it in case of ASI uh, ADH. Thank you for watching the video. For further video, contact the Indian Healthcare BPO channel.